ready? I'm ready to go. Good afternoon, Mayor Joe Yelton, Council President Tim Salters here. It has been a couple of weeks since yeah. we've done a video. Uh, we've been a little busy. We have been very busy. Uh, we did have, we probably uh, went up a couple hundred cases yep. since we spoke last. Not good news. That is not good news. Uh, and right now we're sitting at probably 150 active cases. Yep. Uh, again, this is a time we need to stress. Wash your hands, social distance, and wear a mask. Uh, just remember you wear a mask to protect the people you're around. It doesn't necessarily protect you. So think about everybody else and wear a mask. Yeah, and when you look at our numbers, obviously they've been high for the past week and a half and yes. um, extremely high. Uh, what we did see today is when we got new positive cases, that was at five today. That's been the lowest it's been in about a week and a half. And what we're seeing too is our total positivity and our unique positivity, while still high, started to trend downward yesterday and started to trend downward even more today. Um, our unique positivity rate is at a 24.3%, I'm pretty sure, and then our total positivity rate is at a 9.1. Like I said, not where we want it to be, but we did see a trend downward over the last two days, which is something that we need to get to. And as the mayor said, the key thing about that is wash your hands, socially distance, wear a mask, and one of the things that we do have to remember is it's those times that we kind of put our guard down, where you're maybe at a social function or like a get together, those are the times, and, and Dr. Box and the governor, those are key things. This is where they're seeing it kind of spread from this point, okay. where you feel comfortable, so maybe you do take your guard down. It's at that time we need to keep our guard up and remember those things and remember these simple procedures and recommendations that we've been talking about since March. If we do those things, we'll, we'll get this trend downward to get it back to where we were a couple weeks ago. And, it, and, and I know it's really easy to let your guard down if yeah. you're a, a larger event or even a family event, but we need to keep our guard up and wear your mask. Other than that, tonight is Waterworks Council meeting. We're back here. Back here in City Hall, five o'clock Waterworks, uh, six o'clock City Council. Be, they'll be on Mayor's Facebook page as yeah. well as the Council Facebook page. Uh, and then as far as City Hall goes, we are open back up here in the mayor's office, the clerk treasurer's office and the inspector's office is still closed. So uh, you can still call either of those departments and get somebody, there'll, there'll be somebody answering the phone. But if you need trash tickers or recycling totes, you can come into the mayor's office to pick those up. Uh, we'll handle those for a little while until we get those offices open back up. And then uh, next week, we've got three railroad crossings that close. 15th Street, Main Street, and Washington Avenue. Uh, hopefully, they're only going to be closed. 15th Street should close Monday. All three of them close Monday. 15th should open up Wednesday. Main Street should open up Thursday. And then Washington Avenue will open up the following Tuesday. And they're kind of just working their way right. over from 15th Street. But starting next Monday, all three will be closed. And other than that, uh, leaf pickup pick is up. on the uh, website. You can go to the city website and, and see that whenever your neighborhood will be picked up. And typically we'll make two or three passes through the city through the season. So okay. if you don't make the first round of pickup, we'll be back to your neighborhood. Yeah, and we'll make sure that we post all this information too in the video so you can be aware of it, know what's happening. Because the leaf pickup schedule is usually a four week window of where we right. hit and then after that you start to see the repeat and rem remembering that those railroad crossings will be closed starting monday that's key because i know a lot of people have to go over those train tracks to get to a destination through town um, i'm thinking about school buses in my in my field if i remind our drivers about that uh, but that'll be just you know for this this coming right. week and then it'll be taken care of but we're glad that that's going to be taken care of um, and like I said, we're going to have everything on social media on our live feeds like we have been. So uh, if you can't make it, awesome. We'll have it there for you to be able to watch. Um, obviously, there's spots here. Um, if you want to come live, you got to do your thermometer check and then we've got everything spaced out. But we do, mask. yeah, wear a mask. We do encourage though that you watch it on Facebook Live. And we've had a lot of people interact that way, a lot of people watch it that way. I, I almost say that we've probably had a lot more interaction with our Facebook live feed than what we've had in years uh, with a lot of other things. So feel free to be able to use those. It's easy to contact us and we do check those during the meeting, after the meeting, uh, to see what people have to say.
Other than that, I think we've hit everything. Mayor, let's hit all of those exactly. important lines. Wash your hands, keep your distance, and wear a mask. Have a good one.